please subscribe. PALV Liberty will be the first production flying car. PALV, the Dutch company who developing PALV Liberty claims that the Liberty is fully compliant with existing regulations and says it represents a pivotal time in aviation and mobility history. The PALV Liberty features a Rodex engine-based dual propulsion drivetrain one engine for driving and another for flying and has been designed to be about the same size as a regular car, with the benefit of lowered suspension and tilting two-person cockpits for leaning into the curves of the road. In drive mode, the propeller is hidden away inside the vehicle's body while the blades are kept up top in roof box-like storage. PALV gives the Liberty's 100 HP drive mode engine a top speed as 160 km per hour, 100 miles per hour, with a sprint up to 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour, taking 9 seconds. Fuel economy is rated at 7.6 L/100 km. 31 mpg, and a driving range given as 1,315 km, 817 miles. When the time comes to take to the skies, the rotor mast unfolds automatically, but the driver slash pilot will need to pull out the tail section and unfold the two rotor blades and break out the prop to prepare for flight. The mode switch process is reported to take between 5 and 10 minutes. After a brief pre-flight check, the pilot can head skyward to a maximum altitude of 3,500 m, 11,480 feet. In the air, the Liberty's 200 HP flying mode engine is reported to be about as loud as a small fixed-wing airplane and gives a maximum speed of 180 km per hour, 112 miles per hour, an economic cruise speed of 140 km per hour, 87 miles per hour, or a high cruise speed of 160 km per hour, the latter sacrificing 10% of its range. That range could extend to up to 500 km, 310 miles, though pilots may need to top up its 100 liters, 26.4 gal, fuel tank on landing. Once the vehicle touches down, the tail can be pushed back and the rotors and prop folded away for driving mode. The Liberty is 4M, 13.1 feet, long and 1.7 m, 5.4 feet, high in drive mode, extending to 6.1 m, 13.1 feet, x 3.2 m, 10.5 feet, for flight. The vehicle is 2 m, 6.6 feet, wide regardless of mode, and the unfolded rotor diameter is 10.75 m, 35.3 feet. It has an empty weight of 664 kilograms, 1,413 pounds. As is common these days, the company has also developed a mobile app that compares travel using a PALV vehicle with more conventional modes of transport and will let users know what time savings have been made, as well as determining how many stops will be needed for long journeys and making travel recommendations. There are two versions of the Liberty on offer. Pioneer Edition buyers will be able to personalize interior and exterior finishes and be the first to receive their vehicles. This flavor is priced at Euro 499,000 slash US dollar 599,000. The standard sport model costs less, at Euro 299,000 slash dollar 399,000, but buyers will have to wait a little longer for delivery. PALV is taking reservations for the Liberty now and expects to start making pre-production units later this year, with road and air certified models set for delivery to customers by the end of 2018. A driving license and a pilot's license will be needed to use the vehicle, and current regulations do not allow for takeoff and landing just anywhere. The company says that the PALV needs a space for takeoff measuring about 90 to 200 by 20 meters, 100 to 650 x 60 feet, without surrounding obstacles. In practice all small airstrips, aerodromes, glider sites, and slash or ultralight airfields will suffice. The PALV Liberty can operate from either concrete or grass airstrips. 
As the PALV popularity increases, it is expected that more and more small uncontrolled airstrips will be created. Many countries also allow for special permits on private property. Please subscribe.